All righty. Well, well, well. I think the last time you guys saw me was the llama video. No, I think I got the Stormblade video out. I forgot which one. Anyways, uh, yeah, it was a Stormblade video because uh, no, with Blasted Badlands. Man, it's been a minute. I'm sorry. I haven't done like a fun 160 in quite some time. The last time I recorded one was before I moved. So yeah, as you can see, we're kind of in a different area. You know, we got some like sunlight going on in the background. People tell me to, you know, go outside. You know, this is the closest I'm going to get. Anyways, yeah. So uh, Blasted Badlands videos out for the loadouts for adventures. Um, it was fun. We got it down and done in like 30 hours, which is the normal time. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Otherwise, today we're going to be talking a, about a great hero. We're going to be talking about Dennis Jr. He is actually a great hero, not only because he does give you the totally rocking out um, perk, but he is also a kind of cool character or just hero in itself. So his standard perk, Axe Eliminations, have a 11% chance to grant rock and riff and increases damage by 50% and melee attack, uh, attack speed by 32%. So if you kind of think about it, if you're running like a double attack speed, on an axe uh you're gonna be doing a lot of damage and just it's, it's a lot of fun now here's something cooler um and just kind of the timing of it's a little funny i actually wanted to do a video on the armageddon because as i think he had like a special uh weapon or something or piper like recommended to me and i was like oh you know that's perfect because dennis jr is out so we're gonna be using the armageddon today now i'm gonna buy one because i think i have one copy and it's sunbeam and the other copy uh well, let me get into this first. So um, if you didn't know, we're running attack speed on um, weapons. If you use uh, bright core instead of sunbeam, it's a bit faster. So yeah, we're going to be doing that. Uh, now where's this Armageddon? So I think we have one Armageddon leveled up. Um, there we go. Okay. Oh, we're, yeah, right there. So we have one leveled up and this is sunbeam. Now, if I compare the stats uh, or just show you, if I let me level this one up first. Um, let me go here and not modify perks. I'm going to level up. Uh, we'll make this one a uh, bright core and it will compare the stats because I do want to show you the difference between running a sunbeam and a uh, and a bright core one uh, because there is there is a big difference whenever it comes to attack speed and just in general. So let me level this up. Uh, get it there. There we go. Uh, and did we get oh snares? We're going to have to use a core reaper. Very sad. Um, but we are going to be running crit explosion, of course, because this is one of the very few weapons that can have crit explosion on it. There's about eight i think total so uh yeah we're gonna be running that so let me uh, just get that done there we go and let me compare the stats real quick so let me go here compare and bam so as you can see the durability of course on the uh something one is down because durability on a bright core is a lot a uh, lot more but if you look the attack speed is up uh whenever it comes to the bright core one and uh, the stats are a little bit different you're doing less damage however you're going to be swinging a lot more and the the I don't have the numbers i don't think i could show them but basically the way you think about it is you're going to be swinging a lot more right so you're going to be doing making up that uh damage the less damage that you do with it so and also the damage i think is a little less because it's not perked up because you know whatnot but um if i perked it up it'd probably be a little bit better so alrighty, so i got it perked up now like i said before this is one of the very few weapons that can have crit explosion on it and i definitely use a core reperk on a base game weapon because I just think explosion or crit explosion weapons should always have that six perk. And I definitely think it's worth it. Um, but not to mention, I have like 30 of them. Um, but basically, let me compare the stats real quick again and just show you if I can get down to the Armageddon. Oh, not Armageddon. Uh, um, am, I, am I trolling myself? Wait. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. So let me compare it. So as you can see, the stats are a little bit better this time. It's not like 30,000, it's 43,000. And then on top of that, now it's 0.5 seconds, which is a lot faster, 0 0.05 um, uh, compared to 0.5 on the Sunbeam one. Um, and then of course the impact and damage is lower, but still, like I said, swing faster, a little bit more damage you're doing. And then on top of that, the loadout that we're gonna be running, uh, let me not go to the map. I'm kind of everywhere. I'm a little rusty. Uh, it's not Stoneheart Farah. yeah. We're gonna be running Dennis Jr. of course in lead. And then totally rocking out now this is glitched at the time of this recording um it doesn't activate it's like eight every eight, eight seconds it activates but with um dennis jr in lead i think it should override that because he does activate rocking uh a totally rocking out i think by itself um and then of course we're going to be running battle beat and fumble since you know uh battle beat is just overall good and then fumble of course because we uh, are using a um using a uh, melee weapon so we're going to be up close uh, story and claws because it's a melee weapon. Uh, enemy lessons, wide out Fiona because of the crit explosions. We want a better chance of critting 
so we can have more crit explosions and then monster smash because we need some health and honestly uh monster smash is really good when it comes to health otherwise i'm gonna back out of this uh real quick uh and then we'll just jump into the mission because i gotta get rid of this bar anyways i think we're gonna be running an rtd i don't know if we're doing evacuate or anything but yeah let's just uh get into the gameplay all righty we're in a mission i found a smasher now this is not a great way to show off a weapon uh when it comes to the army or just melee when it because I think I was testing it yesterday or, you know, I, I tested it and it wasn't as great on smashers. This is more uh, used for crowd clearing because crit explosion. But as you can see, I mean, for a smasher, you know, swinging, it's not that bad. I mean, like every few seconds, I'm getting the shots off. Extractor's taking my kill, but I mean, hey, you know, not too bad. Now, if I can find a, an encampment, I think I'll do that. Uh, otherwise, I think uh, I'll just jump into the mission. All righty. So I found an encampment and... I can just say I was like testing a little bit more and it's just so much fun. I turned up my game a little bit so you guys can hear how many crit explosions uh, are that that's about to happen. Wide out Fiona in support is still so good. Now, if you guys haven't checked out my Stormblade video, I definitely recommend checking that out because I Wide out Fiona in the Stormblade is probably one of the best loadouts that I've used. Like top, top, top five favorite loadouts, probably top three actually. But as you can see, I just decimated a big encampment in less than like. 30 seconds uh so i don't know i think this is gonna be very very fun let's head over the balloon and uh see uh what it does against in or uh, does against the defense all righty the mission is started and i'm very excited i think this weapon has very high potential to be one of my favorite loadouts just due to the fact that it has crit explosion if you guys don't know i love crit explosion like i said in the stormblade video it's it just it's fun critting and just exploding these enemies and you know just dead also, this is a smoke screen mission, so we are going to be doing a little bit more damage and just better. You have to use melee weapons. Um, and then on top of that, it's also healing death bursts. So if I'm killing a lot of enemies in this zone, uh, then that means it's good, good, good. Also, someone is using diecast. Sheesh. Uh, I, I've heard diecast for the last like week because of the adventure season, since you can have infinite uh, minigun just about, um, which is kind of fun. So, um, but yeah, like, gosh, man, those crit explosions. I, it's weird hearing them because even with Whiteout Fiona and lead, I feel like it's as common to get those crits. But and this is not even crit build. This is a double attack speed build. Maybe it's because I'm swinging so much that like I have a higher chance and like you know the statistics are there. Um, now this is a fire zone and I'm gonna be taking a little bit more damage because fire. If you don't know, fire enemies give like affliction off on your, your or they do affliction to you. They kind of like burn you, which I hate. It's one of my least favorite uh things about fiber hus uh fi fire hus um and then on top of that armageddon's actually locked to energy as you if you guys recalled you know when i was upgrading uh my uh weapon or you know the melee it actually was only energy you cannot change it to anything but energy which is really really uh really interesting but uh i think it's good though still so you know you're going to be doing more damage to elemental husk anyways so i think it's worth it now this is the one thing about running melee loadouts um you're gonna be dying a lot that's why monster smash kind of comes in clutch um however whenever there's like a 30 propanes and fire husk all over you you're not going to be doing uh or you're going to be dying a lot but even then like look at that oh gosh how much how much is it is it like a hundred thousand per crit 124,000, 183,000. oh my gosh like just think about that if i'm swinging so 0.5 uh so i get about two swings every second so that means I'm doing around 200 uh, max 500,000 damage um, every second. So every two seconds, probably a mil. Uh, that's insane. <laughs> if you compare that to like a weapon, that's just about the range of like, if you guys recall the, the dirt song, that's just about like up there. I don't know. In, in terms of damage wise, not weapon wise, but damage wise. Um, I don't know. I kind of like this. There is one thing that I can mention, like I said, you're, you're going to be dying a lot. I mean, Monster Smash doesn't really um, make up for the fact that you are taking damage. And then on top of that, of course, you also have the fact that you're, um, you are you, you you have Fire Husk, which that's the thing that sucks about this season. But but since the since this is locked to energy, you can use this year round. You don't have to wait for a certain season to be out uh, to use this weapon, which I think that's like the fun, fun part about it. You know, like... You know if you're watching this video way in the future you know past you know like a year in the future th this this video is going to be per perfectly fine for you because the armageddon is something that you can use and any in any zone any you know any mission like 
And let me tell you, if it's in a smoke screen mission, you're gonna be doing a lot of damage. Cause look at that. Oh, those bees. He like bees right there. That is also another thing. Those bees are yeah. Um, also to mention, if you guys don't know, um, Total the Rockin' Out, like I said, you get it from Dennis Jr. Um, and then on top of that, uh, it's currently bugged out right now. Um, which a, I think every eight seconds, that's when it activates. So you have to wait eight seconds, which is not very poggies. Um, yeah, so unfortunate. Um, but anyways, Dennis Jr. He actually comes with, uh, um, oh, what's it called, man? No one uses it in, I'm having a brain fart. No one uses it and everyone hates it, but I feel like I'm the only person that actually likes it. Uh, it's not kinetic overload. Uh, uh, what is it? He, oh, it's going constructor. It's going gosh, man. And no one uses it. And I, I barely use it enough to remember what it's called, but I've made a, uh, going constructor loadout for dungeons before a lot of people hate me for it, but I think it's worth it. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of people just, it just, it doesn't do a lot of damage. And the whole thing with going constructor is, uh, you're up close, but you're also taking damage too. Like it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't last as long as what you would think it was uh, or would do. And on top of that, there's no cooldowns. Like you can't, like the closest thing you can get is happy holidays, you know, the reduced cooldown for abilities, but it's it, even then, like it's still not worth running. So it's just more of like an uh, inconvenience. Uh, but with this weapon too, I can mention, honestly, Whiteout Fiona could be someone that you could run and lead. So you have a higher chance of crit explosions. Um, but honestly, Dennis and lead with the, uh, with the totally rocking out, always activated once you get that elimination. I think it's worth it. Like, I feel like Whiteout Fiona it creates as much, so maybe like it's kind of like a bonus. And then on top of that, actually, I always forget this. If I'm not running Ice King or like base Kyle, I always forget I'm, <laughs> I always forget about my base because I just don't see Dennis Jr. as a base uh, character. I always thought he was like gonna be like a um, someone that had a minigun, like a soldier or maybe even an outland. No, I don't see him as an outlander. I think a soldier, but. He is definitely a uh, constructor, which is really weird in my eyes. Gosh, man, look at that mist monster, just dead. Also, I think the mini boss spawn, but I think it was probably, it must have been a uh, trap on the bowl. That is very sad, dang, that thing, yeah, the thing got fried, holy. Okay, 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 no, but yeah, I don't know. I'm actually kind of enjoying this loadout. It's not that bad, and the crit explosions on it occurs way more than I expected it to, um, which is always a plus. Um, especially with crit explosion weapons gosh man maybe i should do a series on all the crit explosion weapons there's only eight so it wouldn't be that long of a series but it would be a fun one gosh just look at it oh yeah just taking in all its glory just fries all these enemies healing death first two and everything just instantly gone i can't even see half the enemies because of the smoke screens but i know they're not there because i hear the crit explosions going off and i hear them dying. <laughs> you just look they can't even make it to the base like just look ready Oh, and look at that monster smash. She comes in clutch. I'm taking so much damage right now, but it comes in clutch. Like, oh man. Oh, it's so, it's so nice. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for crit explosions. That's what it is. Oh goodness. Oh yeah. There you go. Easy peasy. And just, it's a one swing and they're pretty much dead. And then the explosion clears all of the enemies too. Like, tell me not you wouldn't want to run this loadout. Yeah, honestly, I think it's really fun. Oh, I thought that was a, a, a team that a teammate that was down. Um, but yeah, yeah, here we come uh, with all the uh, flingers and lobbers. Um, that's not fun. Um, but yeah, honestly, so far, I think this is probably going to be one of my favorite loadouts that I run. And Armageddon itself, like I said, it, it's a fun weapon. I uh, just especially because of the crit explosions. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean. I think I've just showed how crazy uh, uh, the Armageddon can be, and then on top of that, uh, I think I think I think running running uh, Dennis Jr. in lead is not necessary, but I think just due to the fact that I can have totally rocking out, almost activated every single like time I swing, that's like a plus. That is definitely a plus, especially since totally rocking out splits right now. So, um, but yeah, I think uh, we're coming to an end. I definitely do think you guys should try this loadout out. Also, I want to say thank you. Um, I think we're almost at 3,200 already, and we just hit 3,100 like a week ago. So thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Welcome in. Um, big shout out to y'all. Um, really do appreciate all the subscribers and, and all the love. You guys have been blowing up the videos and just loving the content. So really, really do appreciate it. Otherwise, 
that is it for the Dennis Jr. and Armageddon combo. If you guys have any questions, comments, or if you just enjoyed the video, like down below, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, uh, remember, use code Matthew in the item shop. I'd appreciate it. It, it does support me. Helps me a lot. Otherwise, uh, look out for more videos. We're going to be covering uh, the uh, boombox weapon set this season, which is a lot of fun because of the dancing six perk. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next one.